Right, folks? Well, today we got this Kohler brand toilet, which is real nice. It's got the slow closing lid on it and everything, but the problem is it's developed a crack in the seat. I don't know how well you can see that. Underside here probably shows that better. And I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why I did that. Let me know in the comments if uh, you've had a Kohler seat crack like that or what you think may have caused that. I don't know if it's a manufacturing defect or nature of the slow close job or do, but what we're going to do is replace this toilet seat and... Uh, now these are supposed to come off relatively easily, so you can pop it off and clean under there. I'm just going to tell you now, I don't think we've ever done that, so probably going to be a little nasty underneath here. Might have to pop out the blur filter to hide some sensitive eyes. Anyway, when you get to a replacement, it says here to make sure it's the right size and the right color. Now, uh got the elongated one that's about 18 and a half inches from, from the middle of the dew points there to the very front of the toilet. So... 18 and 5 eighths actually and it looks like we got the right color because it's white so just pro tip for you go and buy a seat make sure it's the right size for your toilet well like i say uh, it's supposed to have a quick release kind of mechanism so you put these in your uh, bowl area there and so i think it would actually screw in like so so this part here would be on the bottom side right and uh, then this would be sticking up up the top Okay, and uh, so you tighten that down, and then when you put your seat on there, it's got these little locking mechanisms, so you're supposed to just be able to set it down right on top of there, and lock her in. Actually, you probably put the screw first, lock it in, uh, but we'll get to that. Anyhow, so I should just be able to pop these up, and unlock it, and then lift that seat right up. Also, I noticed the other toilet we have in the house has a similar seat that is missing these little nubs, so... Uh, I guess they didn't feel like putting them on there, so we might have to steal them nubs from this toilet seat so I can put it in the other, other bathroom. But anyhow, let's get started getting that off of there. All right, we're going to pop this up. Easy peasy, no screwdrivers. This one here looks a little different, actually. It doesn't have the uh, little safety release valve, so I suppose we'll just unscrew those and see what happens. Right on this old one here, it had the standard uh, wing nut situation going on on the bottom side. So just held that still with a uh, screwdriver, you know, and then started unscrewing that to loosen it up. And so now that's just going to lift right off. So different style for the older cooler toilet seat. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take that other side off. And of course that'll lift off. I'm going to clean that up a bit because, you know, our seat is a little nasty under there. gonna pretend like we didn't see nothing there uh, but I can definitely see why they make these new ones easier to take off and clean because with that slow clo mechanism there it's covering up a lot of space allowing lots of place for nastiness to hide so yeah I might recommend uh, taking that seat off and cleaning under there every once in a while anywho so what you got to do next is uh, first of all back out this bolt from from this unit here and then uh, for your holes down here, you want to turn that so you can stick her to the hole, push it in. There we go. And so that's going to spring back open on the bottom side to hold that in place. And this is going to go through the top of the toilet seat back there. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, I'm going to get this other one in there and then we'll put the new toilet seat on. Well, I got my bolts in there, but I think I'm going to need two hands to line it up. Oh. He's now set you upside down. See if uh, see if I can demonstrate this this way. Two hands. So you put the bolts down in there, and then you're gonna want to tighten these screws up. I can't see my head in the way. Yep. So I feel like in order to take this off, you're still gonna have to unscrew the screws right for cleaning doesn't seem like them locking quick release latch really is helping you now but we'll see what actually feels like a lot of turning there we go now it's starting to bite I'm gonna over tighten it I feel that like rubber piece on the inner side kind of twisting. 
So, yeah, so them mounts aren't moving. Anyway, to lock it, you just kind of twist those in. And I guess that's locked. So, you can cover that up. And we should be good to go. Well, first thing I noticed, it looks like I may need to scooter a bit that way and loosen them both and try to push it over because I got a lip over here and a little lip on this side. So, it's overhanging a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to loosen those up, scoot it over as I'm not trying to film anything and re-tighten them bolts down so it's more sitting sitting in the center. But no crack there, that nice, so it won't pinch your buttocks. And let's test the slow close action. Yeah, I like that so slow close, but anytime you go somewhere that doesn't have it, you're going to slam that seat down like it's covered in spiders. And it's going to be real loud, but uh, yeah, so let me scoot that over and I'll see what it looks like. All right, folks, well, that about do it. Uh, still not exactly centered, but I think it's good enough. I kind of wonder if that whole situation is why it the old one cracked. Because, you know, it's only fixed at the back, and if you're trying to scoot, scoot the front one or the other center or up there, it might be putting some strain on the middle. So I'm not going to force her too much. Maybe this toilet bowl is not exactly centered with the holes or something. So, But uh, it's good enough where it's not going to slide around, and if it does, I can tighten it, tighten it later. But, yep, check us out next time.